The project described and presented in this video is one of many efforts to empower women and reduce the gap in STEM. The Women in Action project had a specific goal, to help women in vulnerable situations develop their digital and entrepreneurship skills in Monterrey and Tijuana, Mexico. The workshop was active during the years 2017 to 2019. As we all know, educational resources are being shared now more than ever in online platforms and classes. However, the bridge between all of these wonderful resources and the persons for whom they are intended require digital literacy in order to allow participants to know how to gain access to these resources. Digital literacies have been defined as a set of skills that need to be developed efficiently in order to allow the end users to be able to participate in their information and communication society. In order to secure this, the objective of the workshop was to provide activities and lessons that provided the participating women with opportunities to develop these skills through the transformative learning experience. The topics participants covered in their sessions for this workshop included understanding of what the internet is and how an email works, the use of Google Gmail, Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides, as well as the use of social networking websites and applications, such as Facebook and Instagram. Participants were provided with a physical manual written by their research team, provided with detailed screenshots and instructions regarding the various tools they explored in their workshop, which they used as a notebook to take notes during their learning portions of the class. First, the participants observed the facilitator use the tool that they were going to learn to use themselves with the help of a projector that presented the screen of the facilitator. Second, the participants were presented with a challenge which required them to put into action what they had just learned and observed. In case they got stuck in the process, they raised their hand and asked for direct guidance from one of the facilitators, which allowed them to have a more personal learning experience during this portion of the workshop. As designers of this workshop, we could talk a lot about it, but to give the audience a better feel of how the participants experienced the courses, we would like to share some of the reflections coming from their own voice. Bienvenidos a estos videos testimoniales de las señoras que, con mucho entusiasmo y motivación, tomaron cada una de las clases de los talleres de alfabetización tecnológica y de emprendimiento. ¿Qué cosas he aprendido? Pues he aprendido primero que nada a realizar un proyecto productivo para poder beneficiarme eh, en tanto en mi hogar como a mi familia. Considero útil porque pues nos han beneficiado aprender a, primero pues nada pues a usar la computadora, ¿verdad? Y a emprender un negocio. Lo que más me ha llamado la atención en este taller es que aparte de ayudar a mis hijos, puedo ayudar a mi familia en la economía. ¿Qué les recomiendo a otras mujeres como yo? Que no le tengamos miedo a la a salir adelante, que no le tengamos miedo a tomar estos talleres porque es una herramienta para salir adelante hoy en la actualidad y realizarnos como mujeres. Solamente les quiero dar las gracias por brindarme este gran apoyo que hoy en día para mí es muy importante. Ah, quisiera dar muchas gracias a todos, muchas gracias para todas las personas que nos tuvieron paciencia con este proyecto y nosotros entender porque yo no sabía nada de computación a mi edad. Este, muchas gracias a todos, que Dios los bendiga. Gracias, gracias por, por todo el apoyo, gracias por estos talleres, este, gracias por, por permitirnos accesar a ellos, nada más, gracias. Quiero agradecer de una manera muy especial a todas las personas que se tomaron el tiempo, que se tomaron la paciencia de estarnos enseñando, de estarnos guiando ¿verdad? en este aprendizaje este, tan, tan novedoso y también tan, tan elemental para nosotros. Gracias. And there you have it, the voices of some of the wonderful and brave women who decided to take their first step in reducing their gap in their skill for the use of technology. As a final reflection, the core message that wants to be delivered through this experience is the following. If given the opportunity, women from diverse backgrounds demonstrated a fierce thirst for knowledge to hone their digital literacy skills. More efforts to provide these sort of opportunities in the future will definitely have an impact in the long run if we want to reduce the gap of STEM. Thank you for your attention.